From the time of our nation's founding, people of faith have shaped America. Throughout our history, faith has been a powerful force for good in our communities and our families. So faith isn't just a footnote in our nation's story. It reinforces the very essence of America. As someone who values the role of people of all faiths in American life, I'm always touched by the amazing stories of love, service, and compassion that take place in this country every single day. They reinforce the power of my Christian faith, which has guided me through my presidency and in my life as a husband, as a father, and as president. This job is full of tough decisions, and at the end of every day, each president needs to act based on what their values are and what they believe. I know faith is often used as a wedge in our politics, and with a new election year come new attacks. In a democracy like ours, there will always be disagreements on important issues. An honest debate is healthy and constructive. But the American people should know this. In a changing world, my commitment to protecting religious liberty is and always will be unwavering. As America's religious diversity grows, we have the chance to reaffirm the pluralism that has defined us as a nation. A pluralism expansive enough to protect the rights of all to speak their minds and to follow their conscience. E pluribus unum, out of many one, has never suggested that the goal of this nation is uniformity of belief, but that for all of our differences, we are committed to looking out for one another and for the welfare of future generations. We're greater together than we are on our own. These shared moral obligations have guided me as president. When we took action to rescue the auto industry, we stood with workers, families, and communities that would have suffered had we allowed our auto companies to go bankrupt. Because a good job isn't just about a paycheck, it's about the dignity that work brings. On health care reform, we stood with the mother who no longer has to worry about whether her child will be able to get care because of a pre-existing condition. On issues like education, poverty, and immigration, I'm standing on the side of human dignity and a belief in the inherent worth of all human beings. I'm asking for your support because we have more work to do, to build an economy where families are valued and secure, and to expand opportunity, extend compassion, and pursue the common good. Visit BarackObama.com faith and let us know that you're in. Then let your family, friends, and fellow believers know why you are supporting this campaign. Thank you for your prayers and for your support. God bless you and God bless the United States of America.